Hi, this is Saev Moten with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody, this is the technical analysis of the Forex market from the forexpsummit.com and as usual we will start from the euro currency and from the daily time frame. Well, uh, on, the coming, uh, on the past week we have seen the first uh, impact, the first breath of the strong uh, weekly and monthly confluence support that stands just below the current market so in, that, in that area, it's around 13440, 135 area. So market has shown the first pullback from that area. Well, in general, the uh, existing of such kind of uh, longer term uh, support or resistance areas could give us a lot of different clear patterns on the lower time frame, for instance, on the daily time frame. And that is the first one that we have traded during the previous week. This is the potential bread and butter trade. Well, uh, the major rule, and th th that trade is based on the major rule that we should not buy the first pullback because. Uh, after the initial pullback, the new traders stepped in from the resistance area and forced the market to show some deep return after the initial retracement. That is the nature of the bread and butter trade. Also, it, it sometimes calls as the momentum trade. Well, on Friday we said that probably market could start this trade right from that area, since this is the significant area of resistance, 139 resistance from the whole swing to the downside. But also we said that market could reach as far as the 50% resistance. Now I just want to shift chart, sorry, that's it. Well, uh, the context for that trade is the nice thrust of the downside, as we said. Good separation from this green line. Green line is the 3x3 three three moving average. It's the 3 period simple moving average, shifted forward for 3 periods. The penetration of that 3x3 three by, three by close and reaching of the strong resistance. That has happened. Well, in general, a market should uh, show the reaching of that resistance during the one, three or three days after the crossing of this green line. So, is if suddenly market will accelerate further on Monday and will reach the 50% resistance, that will be in the row of the bread and butter. So, we can't exclude that probably market still could reverse back and reach that area. So, how to not get in this trap, we will discuss a bit later on the intraday charts. But despite the moment from which uh, area this will start, the bread and butter trade, it should reach to the 618 resistance from the swing to the upside from the whole swing. If we assume that we already see the starting of the bread and butter trade in the market, uh, who started the real bread and butter trade, then the tr target will be 136.65, it's right here, 618 support from the whole swing to the upside. Okay. That's what we could talk about the bread and butter trade. In general, if we will take a look at the daily time frame, we see that just above the market stands a strong area of resistance, the 50% resistance from the this swing down and 3.8 resistance from the whole swing from the high to the low on the weekly time frame, 140.23. Also, right here stands the weekly pivot resistance 1 and daily level of overbought 140.34. So that area is really strong area of resistance and if suddenly, as I said, market will accelerate further to the upside, we should drop our time frame and search for the sell signals in that area. From the another point of view, just below the market stands this weekly pivot point, 137.43 and weekly pivot support 1, 135.39. Now let's shift to the 4-hour uh, time frame. What we see here? First of all, as we said on Friday, market has hit significant target from that ABCD pattern, strong area of resistance. This is the 3.8 resistance from the whole swing to the downside. Also, this is the 4-hour confidence resistance. I just do not have the 6.18 resistance from that high, just to keep the chart as clear as possible. So you can see market hit that area and returns back in that parallel channel. Okay, and now show some respect of that FIP support. This is 3.8 support from that low. To that high 137.70. Okay, well, this uh, particular this retracement will help us to understand uh, does current move to the downside, the real bread and butter trade, or is just a retracement from that 
resistance and we could expect the further move to the upside. Well, we know that the daily trend is bearish, for our trend is also bearish. Markets tend not that they were sold. So, uh, actually market has no uh, strong barriers that could prevent it from the move to the downside. And uh, during the respect, if market if just want to respect that area, this move to the upside should not be very deep. It market should not reach the 139 area again. Okay? This could be a 618 retracement from that swing down. This is acceptable, but not more. If market will accelerate further and return back again above this area, then probably this will be the first bell that probably market will continue move to the upside. And the real brand body hasn't yet started yet. Well, from that perspective, uh, on the hourly time frame, what we see? This swing of Friday's trading session to the downside. Our major risk, if you have the already, if you already have the bearish positions, is that market could show that A B C D retracement, A B C bottom, target 138.56, that makes an agreement with the 618 resistance 138.67. That is in our crucial area. So if you are already have the short positions, uh, you could place your stop to the break even if it available for you, or uh, move it at least somewhere above that area of agreement. If you still do not have the short positions and want to enter short, enter short from some resistance area, from that swing to the upside, but place stop above that area because uh, wherever you will enter short, market still could show A B C D move, and be aware to not get in that trap. Uh, that's your stop uh, will not be triggered by that move, so it's better to place stop somewhere above it. So if market will accelerate further and will return back to the 139 area or even above it, that will tell us that probably the real brand body hasn't started yet and we should expect the move to the 140.25 area. Well, this will, I suppose that this uh, price action will last at least to the Tuesday, uh, till the FMC meeting. What will be after that, it's very difficult to predict, but I suspect that uh, market could renew the lows of the on the daily time frame. So if you will take a look at this picture, we see that, uh, and we know if you favorite our uh, weekly and monthly analysis, you know that just below this low stands some significant weekly targets. And due to the volatility that could appear after the FMC meeting and during the FMC meeting, market could show some extended volatility in some kind of butterfly or something could could appear in that area. But due to the moment that just below the market stands strong era of support, this could lead to the reversal pattern and deeper retracement in the daily time frame. So that's what particularly I will be watching for during the week. So uh, on Monday, Tuesday, market should reach the target of the bread and butter trades right here, 136.65, 618 support of that swing. If of course it will not continue to the 50% resistance, and then and only after that will start to move down. Well. We will assume that current move to the downside is already uh, the starting of the bread and butter trade. This will happen maybe on Monday, may maybe on Tuesday evening. Then, uh, during the FMC meeting, market could show some extreme volatility and probably it could accelerate further to the downside, take out that loss and to form some reversal patterns. Uh, what kind of patterns it will be, I do not know. Maybe it will be the head and shoulders, maybe something else. But in general, uh, taking into consideration the strong area of support, probably market will show the uh, respect of that area by the strong retracement to the upside. Also, um, keep in mind that that area is the weekly level of oversold and that is very difficult for market will be to pass through that area uh, without any respection. Well, that is our trading plan for the coming week. In general, uh, keep an eye on that, uh, on that chart, on the hourly time frame and keep an eye on that area, 138, 70 area roughly. If market will break it to the upside, then probably we could expect the deeper move to the upside and the real brand but hardly has started already. Maybe it will start from the 140.25 area. If not, if, if market will show some retracement, to be some pullback to the upside, maybe again to the highs or some, somewhere in this range and then accelerate to the downside, then we could say that the minimum target is 136.65 618 support from the whole retracement move on the daily time frame.